RV is loaded up, it is now time for the shakedown. The first time out with the new RV here in the Pacific Northwest. And yeah, I'm taking you with me. Are you ready? Let's do this. David aka RV Jedi and I am trying to get out of Seattle uh, to head to a state park for my first kind of real extensive um, RVing with my new rig. Um, uh, where I'm going is about two hours and 20 minutes away. It is uh, you know a Wednesday so I left around I don't know 3 15 3 30 um, and it is um, you know, just a lot of traffic right now. Uh, to top it all off, it is very, very slow here in the tunnel, but I'll get out sometime. There is an accident here. Uh, and then uh, I just got a call from the state park. Somebody is in the spot that I'm scheduled to camp tonight. Um, and they're trying to find them and or move me to a different spot. Uh, their first suggestion was to move me to a spot for a night uh, and then maybe move to another spot for the next two nights. Uh, I'm going out for three nights. Uh, I said, I really don't want to do that. Uh, so they're uh, checking with the ranger and checking on the spot. So uh, an interesting start to my first uh, uh, time camping or the shakeout or shakedown with the RV. We'll see how it all turns out. GPS has taken me is absolutely crazy. I think next time if I have to go I-5 South, I know how to hop onto it a little quicker uh, than the way uh, this particular route is going. Um, but I'm working on getting out of the city, so um, it's all going to be fun once I get there, right? strange weather where it is, uh, you know, on one side it's cloudy, the other side it's sunny, there is a, a shower here and there, but it, you know, it's all part of the Pacific Northwest. Um, still haven't heard from the park regarding my campsite, so uh, hopefully they will resolve this uh, fairly soon, um, but again, I, I still have some time on the road. just wanting to get to my spot and then start the setup process because this is all new for me, right? This is uh, my first time really, really camping in it, so I've got to figure out how to set up everything. As you can tell, traffic is still traffic. Um, I'm about two hours away um, and it really isn't moving that fast. Uh, the good news though, I did get a call from the state park. Uh, they were able to move the person who was in my site out. Uh, so when I get uh, set up at my site, uh, I'll be able to hook up and stay there uh, for the three nights. So that's good news. Now, just have to get to the park. Just 
picked up just went past uh, the exit for Dash Point State Park. I stayed there last year. Um, so nice to see some familiar places. The rain is kind of sporadic right now, just a few drops here and there, but I, I think it's going to be okay. You know, we're going to get some rain during this trip, um, but that's just the way it's going to be. You know, the one thing I am a little, you know, I will say I'm, I'm really nervous about is, again, since this is the first time uh, with me out, uh, I packed a lot of stuff. A lot of the stuff probably is not going to stay in the rig, uh, so I got to figure out what is staying and what is going. Um, and this is what this whole uh, shakedown is about, uh, to learn systems again, figure out uh, what everything does and, and doesn't do and how I just feel comfortable in the rig. So I'm excited to see how everything turns out. traffic was moving smoothly as we went through Tacoma. Uh, it has now uh, come to stop and go. GPS says there is a accident up ahead. Uh, hopefully everybody's okay, but it has just brought everything back to a standstill uh, as I move forward. Uh, no rain right now, but the sun is still pretty high and in my eyes. That's why I've got my sunglasses on. Oh. I cannot wait to get to the park and set up and relax. Wow, there are two accidents. That first one looked really bad, and then this one looks bad as well. here. It's Miller Sylvania State Park uh, in Thurston County. Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to get here. Um, it is uh, just uh, sprinkling a little bit right now, so it's wet. Ironically, uh, right across from me is a Winnebago sightseer. It uh, looks very similar to the uh, sightseer I used to have. Um, I'm here. I'm excited. Uh, even though it's raining, uh, it's now time to get everything set up and start shaking down this rig.
so the fridge is set up. Uh, it is now working off electric. It seems to be working. Um, all of my um, uh, batteries and everything seem to be working fine. I am probably going to have to use the Truma uh, a little bit later tonight because it's probably going to get chilly. Um, but right now, I just want to continue to set up things uh, and try and just chill out for the rest of the night. sink works. Okay, so I think it's time now to uh, fill the refrigerator, load up the food, get that out of the way. In a little while, I will cook dinner, but right now, just still setting everything up. So the kitchen is basically set up. There are a couple of things that I'm gonna, um, you know, shake out or, or, or figure out while I'm here over the next couple of days. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is set up the bed. Now, uh, I went online, looked at a lot of different places in terms of what should be on it in terms of sheets. So I'm going with a full mattress pad uh, that's gonna go on there. And then I have uh, twin XL sheets that'll go on top of it. Hopefully they fit. So all in all, not too bad. I think I can tighten up the corners in the back a little bit, uh, but for the most part, I think it fits. Um, we'll get the top sheet on and the covers and that'll be it for the bed. it has been a very long day the rv is not nearly put together um but i'm getting tired i worked um you know three quarters of a day today uh, my day starts at around 4 55 i think it's almost eight o'clock now um i'm gonna clean up the kitchen area just a little bit and then i'm gonna make some homemade uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese for dinner um and then just uh, try and get some sleep. Can do a lot tomorrow. Uh, continue to put things where they need to be and then also figure out how to use some of this stuff. Okay, time to turn on the Truma heat system. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we're setting it to electric E2, uh, and I'm gonna set it at 65. 
Hopefully it works. Ah, yes. The sound of heat. Ooh, just what I need as I get ready to go to sleep. So night one of the shakeout comes to an end. Uh, had, you know, a nice dinner, uh, homemade tomato uh, soup with grilled cheese sandwich. The RV still feels like it's a little bit of a wreck. Uh, that's because I have so much stuff in here and I got to figure out where everything goes. Uh, the Truma system, the heating system is on, which is nice. So that'll keep me toasty. One of the things I did learn though, is I probably need to start the heat earlier um, so that it heats up the rig just a little bit quicker. Uh, but for the most part, it's good and I've got a nice cover. So um, gonna get some sleep uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna get up, do some breakfast. Uh, and then at some point gonna explore uh, Miller Sylvania State Park. I'll take you with me as I go do that. Uh, and then there'll be plenty of time to come back in and do things to the rig. But uh, all in all, not a bad first night. Now, I need to go to bed. So Miller Sylvania State Park is about two and a half, two hours south of Seattle for me. Uh, obviously, depending on traffic and depending on what day of the week you come in and what time you come in. But uh, for the most part, other than traffic, it was a pretty easy uh, drive in. The first night though, uh, I have to tell you, it was uh, a little bit slower than normal. Um, this is the first trip out in my new to me RV, my 2018 Winnebago Travato 59G. Uh, so I had to go through the setup process for the first time and uh, it took me a little bit. But once I got that done, uh, it was on to dinner and overall a peaceful first night in my new Travato. The next morning, got up, had some breakfast, and went on a hike, and also got a history lesson while I was out there. Good morning. The first night in bed uh, actually turned out to be pretty good. Uh, the Truma system worked to perfection. Uh, the bed was pretty comfortable. Probably a couple things I'll keep working on to try and tweak. Uh, and I had a bathroom, which was nice because it rained most of the night. Uh, it was kind of cool listening to the rain um, hit the, the RV. Uh, I guess it's just one of those things that I really like as well. So the plan today uh, in a little bit, uh, I'm just going to lay here for a little bit and just kind of enjoy everything. Uh, then I'm going to get up, uh, do some breakfast. Um explore the park, take you on a hike with me. Um, and then back here, uh, where the, um, the shakeout continues. I, I still have to figure out where a lot of stuff goes. And, um, there are already some things that I know I'm going to just put back in storage and, or, uh, you know, take to goodwill because I'm not going to use them in here. Um, but so far, so good. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I have a nice little view in the back here of uh, kind of the woods area. And, uh, and you know, life is good.
kitchen is cleaned up. Uh, I think it is time to go explore the park. It is raining, but you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest. So let's go get our hike on. So it's a little cold out here, but my mom loves it when I find water. And mom, this is some water. I guess during the, the summer months or the warm months, you could swim out here. I would not go in this water now, but it is beautiful. This is really cool. The uh, legislation uh, that established the Civilian Conservation Corps declared the eligibility for all unemployed young men, regardless of race, color, or creed, and more than 200,000 black Americans served in the CCC. Uh, in reality, there were vast racial disparities in how local agencies implemented the CCC program. So according to this marker here, in 1934, the CCC assigned black enrollees to work at two Washington state parks, Rainbow Falls and here at Millishevania. Both camps were integrated, but only superficially. Uh, according to this, black enrollees had to sleep in separate barracks at Millishevania. Uh, they worked in the camp kitchen, segregated from the other men who uh, learned valuable skills working on park construction projects. It's really fascinating when you get to come to a state park or, or anywhere and you learn some of the history uh, of how it was built and what the folks were like when they were here. Um, just a, a lot of history here uh, and not just with African Americans but just for everybody who helped uh, put Millishevania on the map. Just a kind of cool history lesson uh, on a hike. So what I can tell of the hiking trail so far is that they're really well maintained, nice and wide. Uh, these are fairly easy uh, trails so far, so anybody can use them. Um, some really beautiful trees here. Uh, and it's just gorgeous to be out and about uh, in the area. There is a boat launch here. So we're gonna walk on down, check that out. Uh, again, just uh, Really gorgeous. I can't imagine what this is like during the summer. Probably gets packed with folks coming out, enjoying the water.
Now these hiking trails are a little bit more narrow, but they're still relatively easy to do. Um, you know, I, I think if you're um, a, a beginning hiker or, you know, don't want to do a, one of those really strenuous hikes, this is a good one. Get you deep inside the woods, deep inside the forest near some water so you can check out a lot of good stuff on this hike. So I've seen a lot of these yellow flowers out on the hike. I'm not sure what they are, but if you know, drop a comment below. Uh, they're gorgeous to see out here and they're kind of odd because there's nothing really out here blossoming right now, but these yellow flowers and, and they're pretty. really nice about this particular trail that I'm on um, and for the most part all of the trails uh, there are markings so you know where you are uh, it'll say you're here uh, and it'll give you a map uh, of where you are hiking I think we're getting near the end of this particular hike which has been a really good one And there you have it. Look familiar? Whew. Rain starting to come down. Time to get inside. But what a great hike. Miller Sylvania State Park has 93 standard campsites and 45 utility sites uh, and RVs can get into most of them up to about 60 feet. Now, I am kind of in the open exposed area and you can see there are no trees in the area. Uh, there's some pull through sites. My site, which is 242, is uh, really nice. It's all paved uh, and it has water and electric. It's a little exposed for me, but that's okay. Uh, what I did notice though during one of my hikes is that there are some sites uh, amongst the trees uh, which are a little bit more private. They also have water and electric hookup. And then I think there are a lot of sites that you can just camp in. I think if I were to come back to this park, I would really want to go uh, into the woods a little bit more uh, and stay at one of those sites. Now, there is water here, so uh, a lot of places where you can hop into the lake and swim. Now, I can imagine when you come here during the summer, it's got to feel really great with that water, especially if there's a lot of heat outside. You just want to dip in and get cool. Uh, some great places to be able to do that. Originally, the park was designated in 1924 and the Civilian Conservation Corps did a lot of uh, the building out of this park. Now the park is 900 acres and there are a lot of uh, hiking areas all around. So uh, when you come here, there's a lot to do. I just enjoyed this park a lot. Again, it's in Thurston County uh, in Olympia, uh, south of Seattle, and for a great place to just kind of get away uh, and enjoy yourself, I have to really recommend Miller Sylvania State Park. I think you'll really enjoy it. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on my website at rvjedi.com. Get out there, enjoy yourself, explore great state parks like this. Who knows, you might find one that you really love and wanna come back to over and over and over again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.